much obliged. I'm a little scared, bro. I'm down. We're gonna go ahead and uh, finish this build real quick. Yeah, so, you guys already saw the inside. What do we got here, Brandon? All right, so this is a 2005 Mazda Speed Turbo Miata. So, quick story about this motor. First, I was like, man, I'm just gonna buy a new motor, turbo it, because I blew up two motors before this. <clears throat> then I was going through the internet, and I was like, fuck, man. And then I saw this valve cover, right? I was like, fuck, that's a cool valve cover. And then it said this right here. It said, Turbo, and then I was like, "All right, cool. This fits in my Miata. I'm gonna get it." But no one's ever done it on MV. It's only been done on a Miata NA with the pop-up headlights. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not type of person. It's too hyped up. So I got a fully custom harness from my friend Frank. To go down. Bought a eBay Perfect HKS. Not even on there properly. It's got JB Weld, but it's fine. Right here we got my intercooler piping that comes down from the intake all the way down here. Looks a little janky right now, it's a small thing, gotta upgrade it soon. Oh, my friends are Toyo's proxies. That's still pretty good though. The, the rears, back one. Um, came with my car when I first bought it. If you guys are wondering for the spray paint, it rubbed a lot and the paint started to chip off. So I spray painted it white for I don't get rust, but I have camber arms installed. That's why if you look from the back, I have crazy amount of camber. I used to have a, an exhaust exit, which I don't have anymore. It's off because I needed to make a new exhaust. But the plan is to cut the bumper all the way to the other side and then get my $1,500 um, Country Labs wing and make a chassis mount and then have a, either a dual or a single exit exhaust coming out the middle. Then I have this carbon fiber wing need to get it yeah, clear coated clear but if you look at the bottom the bottom's perfect condition oh yeah it is <laughs> yeah and uh that fifteen hundred dollar wing can we go take a look at it yeah let me let me bring it out so um uh, wings fifteen hundred dollars because it's got custom brackets but i'm not using those anymore um, full also carbon fiber full carbon fiber so this thing i can lift it up with two fingers oh my god so this used to be on my rx7 but the plan with it if you can hold my phone my plan with this is to make custom brackets. So this was normally a truck mount, but I still have my carbon fiber wing, and I still want that. 
So what I'm gonna do is, from when I cut the bumper, oh. I'm gonna make the brackets extend it, and I'm gonna have it come up like this. Yeah, that's pretty sick. So that's the plan, about that high. Just cut some brackets. Still fairly new. Just need to, just gotta clean it up. And how long did it take you to make this Miata what it is today? How many man hours did you put in? I don't know about man hours, but probably the equivalent of like a year or two because I've blown up two motors. Um, I blew up my first one, rebuilt it, and it blew up again because I'm pretty sure the guy wasn't a good um, engine rebuilder. What was the original color on this? Um, the original color was multi multiple colors actually. Was multiple colors actually. It was from gray to blue <coughs> to red. So the, the OEM color, if you look at the door panels right here, is silver. This nice silver. And then, if you look right here, the guy spray painted it red, and then that was my job. So it's got like a little story. Oh dang! Then I have a real story. Then I have my steering wheel. Just a basic generic um, epoxy wood grain looking steering wheel with my Sparco steering hub. It's a rally hub. What kind of shifter you got? It's an offset shifter I bought from um, the sticker place where um, a bunch of people come in together and they buy stickers. And I bought this for $35. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Oh, another question I wanted to ask. Uh, how much money have you put into this car? Um, this motor by itself, three grand. The other motors, three grand. So I spent around $6,000. I bought this car for $1,000. Till it's life legacy. Mm -hmm. My brother actually bought it. First, bought, it, but yeah, no. bought it. I bought it at a tow yard for a thousand dollars, and I was like, it was pretty sketchy. And then uh, we messaged the owner, and the owner was telling us this car used was to be the, lifted. It was the first lifted Miata in SoCal, so the guy used to jump the car. So, like if you look into the frame, into the the fender well, you see where it's cracked and all. And if anybody wants to um, follow me or my friends on Instagram, we have a car club page. It's, uh, if you look right here in the front sticker. It's, Never finished. So the back of your shirt too? Yep. Yep. Front shirt says my has my Miata on the back. And then my back of my shirt has never finished. And when do you estimate that this will be on the road? Well hopefully two, three weeks. Cause I just need to tune. That'll be it. And I have to ask last question before I close out this video. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna be doing a review? Damn right you're gonna be making a review.